Automotive Race Face Driver Updates. We had seven drivers seeing action this weekend as the 2021 racing season comes to an end. But let's get right to this week's results. Anthony Alfredo was at Phoenix. Anthony Alfredo was at Phoenix Raceway for the final NASCAR Cup Series race of the year. Anthony qualified 30th in his number 38 boot barn Ford Mustang. Anthony had a decent day going until he cut down a tire in the final stage and took a hard hit into the wall, ending his day. On a positive note, an anonymous bidder placed the winning bid on Anthony's pink window net where the proceeds were donated to breast cancer. That person surprised Anthony's mom by giving it to her in honor of her mother. That anonymous person was Kurt Busch, truly one of the good guys in the sport. Sheldon Creed pulled double duty at Phoenix Raceway, first in the Camping World Truck Series, where he was making his final start for GMS Racing. Sheldon qualified second in his LiftKitsForLess.com Chevrolet, led a race high 106 laps, and brought home a fourth place finish in a wild race where Sheldon passed the championship torch to Ben Rhodes, the new 2021 truck champion. Sheldon then jumped into the number 78 Chevy Camaro for BJ McLeod Motorsports, where he qualified 10th and brought home a 10th place finish. Sheldon will return to the Xfinity Series full time in 2022 for Richard Childress Racing in the number two Whelan Chevy Camaro. He entered the ARCA Racing Series West final race of the season with a one point advantage in his quest to defend his ARCA West Championship. The number 16 Napa Auto Parts Bill McAnally Toyota struggled in qualifying, posting a 15th place starting position. But at the end of the day, his 14th place finish had him tied with Jake Drew in points, but by virtue of two wins, he was crowned the 2021 champion. Let's listen in on a post-race interview. Napa team, and here he is. He's got his hand on the cage. Here he is up on the side of the car. The championship flag waving in the air. Jesse Love, two-time champion here in the Arkham Menard Series. Congratulations. Describe the last couple of laps, Jesse, of that race. Yeah, I mean, uh, we definitely weren't where we needed to be the last, you know, 50 or so. We fired off all right, but just trying it too free, and you know, it was kind of a problem all day. We just being too free, so um, just needed to get to him. I knew I had to get one spot, um, and we got to him, so... I'm not sure what happened. I knew I was going in there about Mach 10 and going to get to him one way or another. Uh, I wasn't going to spin him out, but I was going to rattle his cage a little. So I uh, just had to get to him. And uh, when we did that, uh, I'm not sure what happened, but he went up. We got going, and uh, then it was just kind of a waiting game. So uh, my emotions were messed with for a long time after the checkered flag, but uh, we've been a class of the field all year, um, almost every different surface. So, uh, you know, it feels good. Um, I don't think I'd have thanked God in, in Napa. Uh, somebody was definitely looking over us on that one. We talked about you being very analytical with your mind. During the running of this race, were you being updated on points? How, how analytical was it as far as watching the big picture versus the, the, the day's race? Yeah, I mean, after Roseville, um, the, you know, the nine got into us. I don't mean to knock them because I don't want to do that. But, uh, you know, we got spun at Roseville by the nine, so I knew I had to I didn't want to get right in front of him and, and have a, you know, it would be stupid of me to give him the option to do that, right? So just had to stay right behind him. And then Daniel Dye um, came, I guess he had a pit, and he came, and then that put us one, one, minus one. So I had to get to the uh, Huddleston, and uh, we did that. And, uh, yeah, that was kind of all, the, all she wrote. You started off on open wheel racing. You've done a lot of racing. What does it mean now to go back to back with Bill McAnally here in the Arca West Series and, and uh, be a back to back champion? Uh, it feels great, man. It feels rewarding. Uh, we've definitely had our trials and tribulations throughout the whole year. Uh, we, you know, we've, we've won races, and uh, we're the only driver to win more than one race that was a regular in the Arca Series, Arca Menard Series West. So um, that obviously paid off tonight. And um, we, we only had like three races, or 
yeah, three or four races where we haven't had like something break or, or get you know we got spun out or had a right front tire go down, and we run first, first, second, and third. So uh, those are the are the nights that paid off. Well, he mentions it counted those wins because it was the tiebreaker. Congratulations, two-time champ, Jesse Love. Congratulations. Thanks, Steve. Congratulations, Jesse. Make sure to check out Jesse's website where you can get his new 124th signed championship diecast while supplies last. But wait, there's more. Jesse became the first driver to have his own NFT collectible drop last week, so make sure to check it out as well. Up next for Jesse, 54th annual Snowball Derby at Five Flag Speedway on December 2nd through the 5th. We're going to take a short break and then we'll be right back with more results from your favorite race face drivers. Joey East was also competing in the finale at Phoenix in his number 54, the U.S. Ag Center 59, Nate Clower Ford. Joey entered the race only five points behind Jesse for the championship. Joey qualified 21st and ran mid-pack all day, eventually coming home in 17th. Joey finished 5th in both the East and the West ARCA Championship standings. What a great year for the rookie driver out of Madera, California. Connor Mozak was at Circuit of Americas for the final Trans Am TA2 race of the year, where 53 cars qualified on the 20 turn, 3.4 mile road course. Connor qualified his number 28, Nick Taylor, Team Scott Legacy Racing Camaro in third and ran in the top five for the complete race and eventually brought home a podium finish in second. Connor also finished the year third in championship points as a rookie. Now that's impressive. Congratulations, Connor. Carter Whalen was at North Georgia Quarter Midget Association where he swept the weekend by winning both A mains and securing the heavy Honda championship. Carter also won two heavy 160 races. What a great weekend. Two track records, four wins, and one championship. Congratulations, Carter, on an outstanding year. We look forward to seeing this young man in a pro track sometime next year. Caden Honeycutt did a little dirt racing at Kennendale Speedway Park in both a factory stock and a pro mod. In the sport mod, he finished second in the B main, and seventh in the A main after starting 15th. In the factory stock, he won the B main and started 14th in the A main and finished third. Caden was not finished for the weekend as he made his second start of the year in the iRacing Road to Pro Contender Series at Homestead Miami Speedway. Caden led a race high 74 laps of the 134 and finished in sixth. He now sets third in points with five races left. Next week, he will be at Auto Club Speedway for round three. And up next for Caden, he will also be at the 54th Annual Snowball Derby at Five Flags Speedway on December 2nd through the 5th. The Raceface family of drivers would like to thank all of our loyal fans by giving you a free one-year membership into the Speed Zone Mall to help you save money and earn cash back when shopping online at over 2,500 of your favorite stores. It's simple. Visit your favorite Race Face Drivers website, go to the Fan Zone, and click on Free Membership. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media, Make sure to check us out at the Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back in December after the Snowball Derby. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.